Hi guys, Bill again. <laughs> well, I've just been blocked from a gamer's channel. Booze. Uh, actually, it's fair enough. I was quite rude to the kid in the comments thread and let's face it, it's his channel. He can block who he wants. So, fair dues. I've linked down below to it so you can follow the thread if you're really that interested. But don't go looking too hard. I only managed to get two comments in before the ban hammer fell. Bad Billy. Uh, the reason for the vid is I've had a wee think about what it is and I think I've hit on what annoyed me enough to comment in the first place. You know, the tal idea for the kids broadcast is that he fully sympathises with girl gamers and the shit they have to put up with. So, in no particular order. He's pretended to be a girl online before. And he received freebies and plenty of advice from fellow gamers. Now, I agree with him. That is, that's patronising as hell. But there's a deeper issue here. It might be worth him pretending to be his dad or his younger brother or sister and see what happens. Because the thing is, men are generally helpful and supportive of the rest of society. Now whether that's conditioned or innate is a bit besides a point at this point in time. The fact is that we serve and protect. Now it's got little to do with gender and it's got less to do with sex. Um, if you watch Justicar or Integral Maths channel, then you'll see a man who goes out of his way to do just that, serve and protect, both in real life, he works or worked in law enforcement, and he also does it online. Now, the crucial point is that he's not attracted to women. But even so, while he doesn't white knight for the ladies, he does literally and figuratively protect them. Now, he does the same thing for other people too. The salient point is that this has got nothing to do with any perceived sexual reward that might be on offer, but it's got everything to do with his masculinity. He's taken on the role of protector and provider for society as a whole. He serves and protects our modern tribe or clan. So, I'm not at all surprised that a random selection of males will offer assistance to anybody they perceive as a female stranger. But I think our broadcaster's reading a lot more into it than the act itself. You know, he got creeped out because he's never experienced random acts of assistance and support before. As an aside, I've been quite lucky in my life. I've travelled quite extensively around the world and one of the things I've noticed is that when you're the only white guy in a two mile radius, you tend to attract a bit of attention. Invariably people, women as well as men, have gathered together to try and help me out. Now, maybe I just look a bit clueless, you know, but I think it's got more towards... They assume that white people are rich and therefore white people are worth robbing. And that makes a white person, like myself, vulnerable and in need of protection. <laughs> now, people are wonderful. They really are. You just give them half a chance. Back to the kids' video. He starts to bang on about half-naked women in video games and, mate, it's an art form. You know, hyper-sexualised avatars are all the rage. Yes, the women do show acres of flesh, but so do the men. The warrior women all have big boobs. The men have got so much muscle they can barely clap their hands together. Ugh. See, a great and often quoted example is the latest Batman series. The females, they show plenty of flesh. You know, long legs and plenty of cleavage is de rigueur. But Bats' outfit is so skin tight you can actually see his nipples. <laughs> There's no camel toe on display, but again, Mr. Wayne's packing an awfully impressive cord piece. <laughs> Point I'm making is the imagery, the poses, and even the voice characterisation are highly stylized. They're trying to bring the comics to life. And it works, it really does. I mean, I suck at Arkham City, but it's worth even me playing it just for the visuals. It's a stunning game. Now we're into Scarsesian territory here. 
You know, women are the helpless sex objects, male players are all dirty perverts. <sighs> nah, mate, it's not even close to that. Our hero is then lamenting the lack of female orientated games. But he seems a bit confused about what of them what one of them might be or what it looks like. I think I can help him out. My wife is absolutely mad for the angry birds. Just saying like. It's another bugbear that's trotted out by Scarsese and Co with monotonous regularity. If only there was a choice of something other than all these boys games. It could be marketed and it could sell in droves. Actually it wouldn't. You see, there's been a bewildering variety of games put out there. Pretty much anything that can be done with computer graphics has found its way onto our monitors. And sports titles, shooters, strategy games, massively multiplayer online role playing games, they dominate the marketplace because that's what people want to play. It's not because of some kind of masculine conspiracy to keep female content out. I agree that including female content is a great idea, but excluding male white gamers, the people who built and paid for the industry in its current form, really isn't. Now as another aside, I say white male gamer for a reason. You don't have to be white or male to be a male white gamer. The replies that have been offered recently by some of the increasingly feminist uh, game companies, they make it abundantly clear that they're making that assumption for you. If you complain, even if you offer some constructive criticism, and I believe the term feedback is correct here, then you're a white male gamer who needs educated about privilege and inclusion and minority rights. Sound familiar? Our kid makes a lot of sexist comments in the last third of his video and I'm not sure how aware of that he was at the time. If you blandly assume that only males play games from a young age or you start using highly sexualized language, she's a fucking whore and all that sort of stuff, you're showing a lot of evidence of male chauvinism. The other, uh, the other possibility is that he's just playing it for the lulls, you know, seeing how much he can get away with before somebody rumbles them. And if that's the case, then hats off to you, son. You got me, and I think you got pretty much everybody in the comments thread as well. I don't think it was, though. The point of my video is simply this. We're at a stage now where young men are leaping forward to support and to protect the women in the social structures, the way men have probably always done. But when it's, it happens so often these days that it's people like this guy attacking other men who've done nothing wrong apart from offering to support and protect people. Assuming and assigning malicious intent to any kind of random act of kindness is just foolish. And it's buying into this feminist worldview where Naked female flesh is obvious evidence of male perversion, but the males similarly naked right next to those naked females seem invisible to the observer. It's incredibly sexist and it says a great deal more about the observer than whatever's getting observed. This astonishingly one-sided, gynocentric, feminist worldview is starting to become the norm rather than the exception. We need to challenge it, people. We really do. When even 30-year-old virgins are pointing out creepy guys, there's something far wrong with the world. Layers. <laughs>